pick your final. Alright, let's see. Um, okay, this one, uh, number number six. The average stuff. Yeah, right. that bothered me because I thought I had it and I didn't have it. Okay, um, so right away, uh, what, so you thought you had it and so we've got, um, so I was going to say like right away, I'm looking at this and I move it. <laughs> but that's not useful. <laughs> so, um, uh, 100 measurements. Um, the average is 23. All right. And then 50 measurements. The average is 27. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and then we want to, you know, so we have the average of 150 measurements. Uh, versus uh, 25. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to reframe this in narrative format. Um, let's say your goal is an average of 25. You want to score an average of 25 on your test. Okay. And you've taken 100 tests mm -hmm. and you average 23. What do you need to do to bring your average up to a 25? You need to score higher. Right. Um, but let's say you took one test uh -huh. and you got a 23. Okay. Okay. And you wanted to bring your average up to uh, 25. Uh -huh. What do you have to get on the next test? Higher than a 23. Right. Specifically, what though? Um, to get wait, what score am I trying to get? Twenty five. So, yeah, we're trying to get an average of twenty five, and we've taken one test and we got a twenty three. Um. Well, let's see. Wouldn't you have to get like a twenty? Let's see, twenty five work. So, well, just if, if, you, if you're trying to solve for it, um, just guess. Uh, so we want an average of a 25. Uh, on test two, guess what your score actually is. Just pick a number. 25. Okay, 25. Mm -hmm. In actuality, you score a 23 and a 25. Mm -hmm. What is your average? It's 23 plus 25 over 2. Mm -hmm. Right? Right which is going to be 24. Okay. So 25 is not high enough. So that will be a 26. Okay, try that. So 23 plus 26. 59. Uh, 49. Oh, uh, yeah. 49. So, I mean, yeah. if you have to, just get really quick at the on-screen calculator. Anyway, 49 over 2 is going to be 24. Mm -hmm. 25. Okay. Okay. So it brings your average up to 23 to a 24.5, but not enough. Okay, so try again. Right? 27. 23 plus 27. That's 25. Uh, 50 over 2, which is 25. Mm -hmm. And what's, what's sort of happening here uh, behind the scenes mm -hmm. is that... Um, if I have 23 and my target is 25, mm -hmm. then I've got to close this gap of minus two mm -hmm. points by getting plus two points okay. on my next test. Okay. Um, so that's one, one way to think about it, right? Like, in other words, um, if your goal mm -hmm. is to average uh, 25 mm -hmm. on 10 tests. Uh, what you really need to do is you need to get 250 points. Mm -hmm. One way or another. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Because again, your average is your total over the number. Mm -hmm. right, so as long as that total is 250, yeah. 
Okay. So um, thinking about it that way, if I want to average, um, I want to average uh, 25 on my measurement. Um, what was it? You had 100 measurements. For 23, an average of 23. Uh, 23, mm -hmm. right? And we want um, 25 mm -hmm. for our, to be our average um, after mm -hmm. 150. So we need, for our total, we need 150 times 25. Oh. Uh, add it, add it all up. Uh, uh, you know, figure out like thinking of it as as like a target at the end, like how many do we want to accumulate by the okay. end? Okay. Okay. And uh, 150 times 25 is some mm -hmm. number that um, this is like 30 times 125. Oh, I mean, anyway, put it in, it's uh, 3750. Okay. Is that right? Calculator? I'll put it in my calculator. Okay. Um, 150 times 25 is 3750. Okay. That's right. Okay. Um, so you need to get 3750 as your, you know, mm -hmm. that's your target. Right. Um, and but really, what I want to think about is um, you've had a hundred, you've had a hundred measurements, and you've lost two mm -hmm. points. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Okay. You got to gain all those points back, and you've only got fifty more measurements to do. Okay. Right, you're not going to get there by only gaining okay. two points each. Time. Right, so 50 measurements um, oh. where you're gaining two okay. points. Okay. Um, no good. Got it. It wouldn't work. Okay. Um, right, and and I don't, you know, I'm not saying that. Okay, now you know how to do this problem. Like in big tests, whenever you have an yeah. averages problem. Have to think about it in a different way, but um, the the point is that like there's something happening here um, that doesn't really require mm -hmm. math. Like if you think I have most of my measurements are two less than 25, and a few of them are two bigger than mm -hmm. 25. The average is not going to work out to be right. 25, because all those extra measurements. So I have I have more measurements at 23. Mm -hmm. than I do right. at 25 or at mm -hmm. 27, and so these right. skew the result. Yep. 23. Right. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's. And, okay. 